In many languages, the spelling and pronunciation of words often match. Take Japanese, for example. See, super easy. But in English, the spelling of a word and its pronunciation often don't match. The first word is ghost. G O S T. The next word is eyes. I Z. C. Not always so easy. There are a lot of difficult things about English spelling, and one of these difficult things is silent letters. You can find silent letters in words like bread, bomb, indict, handsome, love, gnome, listen, autumn, no, and receipt. Sometimes I use an X to show that a letter is silent. So this is the sign I use for a silent letter. And it's important to remember that these silent letters are part of the spelling of a word, not the pronunciation of a word. So, when we spell a word using the phonetic alphabet, we never write these silent letters. And sometimes, when you look a word up in the dictionary to check its pronunciation, for example, favorite, you can find these parentheses. This doesn't mean that this sound is silent. It means that this sound is optional. Sometimes speakers say it, and sometimes they don't. This is largely based on what type of English someone speaks and or how quickly they are speaking. I often use this optional sign, these parentheses, to show that it isn't necessary to pronounce a certain sound. In this word, it's not wrong to say favorite, but it can often make your English sound a little more natural if you drop the optional sound and say favorite. Let's practice some common English words that Japanese people often say with the optional sound, but most Americans say without the optional sound. Ready? Camera. Camera. Different, different, several, several, interesting, interesting, conference, conference, usually, usually. Words with this ALLY often have optional sounds like actually, actually. Typically, typically, generally, generally, naturally, naturally, basically, basically. If we add some other pronunciation signs like schwa and tap, a word with an optional sound may be difficult for you to catch when you're listening to English if you're only thinking about the spelling of the word. Let's try this word, for example. Can you catch it? Automatically. Automatically. This is automatically. So, as you're learning, listening to, and speaking English, please remember that in spelling, some letters are silent. And in pronunciation, some sounds are optional. Thanks for watching.